metering class current transformers come in different classes. The first type is class 0.3. For a class 0.3 current transformer, for 0 to 10% of the primary rating, we don't guarantee any accuracy. From 10% to 100% of the primary rating, we guarantee the CT error will be less than plus or minus 0.6%. From 100% of the primary rating right up to the full rating factor, we guarantee the CT error will be less than plus or minus 0.3%. Above the full rating factor, we don't guarantee the accuracy. Let's have a look in detail at what these figures mean. Here we have a typical feeder circuit with a class 0.3 metering CT, which has a ratio of 1000 to 5 and a rating factor of 2. To see what's happening to the current transformer over its full range, let's look at the CT's magnetization curve. As we know from a previous module, the first part of the curve is when the CT becomes magnetized. This part of the curve is obviously non-linear, and the current that appears on the secondary output of the CT will not be an accurate representation of the current flowing through the primary. Once the CT is magnetized, we have a long linear zone that's applicable for most of the current transformer's range. Eventually, when the current transformer gets beyond its limits, it starts going into the nonlinear saturation zone. Let's now close the circuit breaker and get the power flowing. As soon as the current starts flowing through the CT, it becomes magnetized, and we move on to the nonlinear part of the curve. Although some current will flow through the secondary circuit, we are unable to guarantee the accuracy of the current value, and this is true from 0% to 10% of the primary rating, or for this CT, 0 to 100 amps. If we increase the current further, we move onto the linear part of the curve. From 10% to 100% of the primary rating, or from 100 amps to 1000 amps, we can guarantee the CT error will be less than plus or minus 0.6% of the value it should be as per the CT ratio. Let's now increase the current further beyond the 1000 amp rating. As we can see, the rating factor for this current transformer is 2. Therefore, the full rating factor is 2 times by 1000, which is 2000 amps. From 100% of the primary rating to the full rating factor, or from 1000 amps to 2000 amps, we can guarantee the CT error will be less than plus or minus 0.3% of the value it should be as per the CT ratio. Let's now increase the current above the full rating factor of 2000 amps. As we can see from the CT magnetization curve, we're now getting into the nonlinear saturation zone. Because this part of the curve is nonlinear, we can no longer guarantee the accuracy of the CT secondary current. This class 0.3 metering current transformer tends to be used on lower voltage less advanced metering systems. On higher voltage systems, this lack of accuracy during key parts of the current range isn't good enough, and we therefore need something a bit more accurate. 